Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies, this is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain how to find the number of factors to the given input number. Whenever they specify one number, how to find out the factors count simply. See here, program execution starts with the main function main. So, first we are reading, we are reading one number suppose n, n we are asking printf, printf enter a number, they will input some number that we are reading using scanf function. Just consider that input value is a 6, to that 6 how many factors that we need to find out. Two factors are mandatory, so means what one and itself, one and itself. See for example, factors count we are checking. For this n, we are checking that one is a factor or not. Yes, already one is a factor. For every number, one is a factor, one is a factor. So, here we are taking one variable, suppose factor count f that initial value we are taking like a 1, we are taking like a 1 that is or for example, I want to check from the beginning also means what just we start that factor count is a 0 only, 0. So, everything I want to specify with the logic only ok, here it is n equal to 1 and next one n is divisible by 2 or not, n is divisible by 3 or not n is divisible by 4 or not, n is divisible by 5 or not, n is divisible by 6 or not we are checking, 6. Remember here it is just like n by 2 make it half, make it half, left side only we can check the factors because right side values anyway is not divisible, it is not divisible, so no need to check. So, here up to n by 2 only we are checking, but sir here it is the last one is there, na? the last one also we are counting first. So, this is for last one, it is for itself, itself anyway is the factor, for 1, 1 is the factor, for 17, 17 is one factor, for 10, 10 is one factor, that one factor is what this one already we considered. So, no need to check this one and here it is we are checking only up to n by 2. So, we are repeating the loop from 1 to n by 2, here it is for, here it is a this is i value consider, i value starts with a 1, i is less than or equal to n by 2 every time by 1 we are increasing by 1. So, here i we are using, so declare the variable i. Now, we are checking n is divisible by 1 or not, nothing but n is divisible by i or not. If n is divisible by i, if n is divisible by i equal to 0, equal to 0 because when we can say that the number is divisible means what when the remainder is equal to 0. Whenever the remainder equal to 0, just here increase that count value, increase that factor value plus plus just f because the variable is a f, that is all, this is the code. So, here it is the first i value 1, so 1 is the factor, so f value get increased f value become, f value initially 1 that will become 2. Next to 2 is the factor, 2 is divisible by 6, yes it will increase by 1. Next to 3, here it is a i value 3, 3 is less than or equal to 3 condition true and 3 is a factor. So, here it is increase, that value is a 4. So, next one it will not check because whenever it reaches that n by 2, n value become 4, 4 is less than or equal to 3 condition false it will be terminated. So, directly here it is what just printf the factor count percentage d 
and just f we are printing. If input is a 6, how many factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 factors are there. So, here it is the display, it will display that f value is a 4. This is just how to find the number of factors for the given input number. Hope you understood. Please subscribe to Narayshati channel for more videos. Thank you. Thank you.